Good day everyone. This video was presented by Group 6. I am Chris Anjoy Takmo and I am here to discuss with you the given topic for the Group 6 which is the attraction of Rizal. Did you know one of the most controversial issues in the study of life, works, and writings of Rizal is the historicity and veracity of a certain act which allegedly Rizal had performed a few moments before he was led out execution. More specifically, his alleged reconciliation with the Catholic Church and his abjuration of masonry known as the Retraction. In the upper left side of the slide is the alleged original copy found by Doc Father Manuel Garcia on May 18, 1935. And the following are the texts from Father Balaguer on January 1987, and its English translation. Before we go on to our discussion, let us define first what is retraction. Retraction is a public statement made about an earlier statement that withdraws, cancel, refuse, or reverse the original statement. It simply means retraction is a kind of withdrawal or rejections of the said previously stated or whatever actions expressing a change of moods or hearts to the person who made it. Such document purportedly exists allegedly by result a few hours before his execution. This document referred to as the retraction which declares the result's belief in the Catholic faith and retracts everything he wrote against the Catholic Church such as the Nolima Tangere and El Filibusterismo. As you can see in the right portion of the slide, there is an image of the letter of retraction by Rizal. And I got it from the discussion of Professor Xiao Chua, the popular history professor. Perhaps you definitely ask me a question if it is a primary source or not. As a primary source, you have to look at it. It was found around 1930s in the archives in Manila. As you can see in the content of the letter, it has a signature signed by the national hero himself, Dr. Hesari Rizal. Our main issues concerning about the retraction. First, Rizal retracted his Masonic affiliation. Second, Rizal wrote and signed the retraction. Third, Rizal's marriage to Josephine Bracken. The first issue concerning the, about the retraction of Rizal Rizal retracted his Masonic affiliation. As Rizal stated in his retraction, which is the highlighted part of the slide, I abominate masonry or itinatakwil ko ang masonaria as the enemy which is of the church and a society prohibited by the church. The second one, Rizal wrote and signed the retraction. The declaration or retraction was signed with Rizal by Senor Fresto and Senor Moore. Third, Rizal's marriage to Josephine Bracken. Father Balaguer testified he married Rizal and Josephine Bracken on December 30 at 6 o'clock in the morning. In 1896, on December 29, the day before Rizal's death, that sentence was read to Rizal early in the morning. On the same day, Father Sedara and Father Luis Visa visited Rizal. They convinced Rizal to make his retraction letter. But Rizal seems didn't know how to make a retraction letter, so Father Sedara and Father Luis Visa show a letter of retraction to Rizal, which he only signed it. But when Rizal looked at the letter, Rizal, his mind came up that he could able to write a retraction letter. So he wrote on his own and signed it. Uh, you definitely asked me again why or what was the condition or the reason why Rizal easily retracted. There are two reasons. I give you two reasons for that. It is because the retraction letter served as the requirement or the evidence for him to marry Josephine Brocken, his lover. And the second one was for him to die as part of the Catholic religion. On December 30, at 6 o'clock in the morning, 
Rizal and Josephine Brocken were married. On the same day, at 7 o'clock in the morning, Rizal was executed. In the very day of Rizal's death, many questions had left, particularly with Rizal's retraction. One of these questions was what was the outcome or what was coming out from this issue. There are two sides of it. Number one, some people believe that Rizal had retracted. The second one, some people say that this is just all part of the fabrication of the Spanish friars to undermine the efforts of the poor Jose Rizal as our national hero. Good day everyone. Now I will discuss the external and internal criticism of retraction of Rizal. The first one that I will discuss is the external criticism. It was said that there are four different versions of Rizal's retraction that had surfaced. The first version of the text was published in La Voz Española and Dryer de Manila on the very day of Rizal's execution, December 30, 1896. The second one came from an anonymous writer who revealed himself years later as Father Bulgir. It appeared in Barcelona, Spain on February 14, 1897 in the fortnightly magazine in La Juventud. The third one that was said to be the original text was discovered in Arch Dicession Archives on May 18, 1935 after it, after it disappeared for 39 years from the afternoon of the day when Rizal was shot. The fourth text appeared in El Imperial on the day was on the day after Rizal's execution. It is the short formula of retraction. Father Bulgir said he had received an exact copy of the retraction written and signed by Rizal. The handwritten of this copy I don't know nor do I remember who it is. And even I suspect that it might have been written by Rizal himself, it was somehow made by a copyist who called imitate Rizal's hand, handwriting. The, the, exact, the exact copy had been received by Father Balgir in the evening immediately presiding. Also, the internal criticism, these are the differences among the original and the Manila newspapers, text of the one introduction on the one hand and the text of the copies of Father Balgir. First, instead of the words Mi Calidad, with you, which appear in the original in the newspaper text, the Jesuits copy have Mi Calidad. Second, the second Jesuits copy of copies of their traction omit the word Catolica after the first Iglesias, which are found in the original and the newspaper text. Third, the Jesuits copy of the rejection and before the third Iglesias, the word Mesma, which is not found in the original and the newspaper text of the rejection. Fourth, the Father Bargir text does not begin the second paragraph until the fifth sentences, while the original and the newspaper copy starts the second paragraph immediately with the second sentences. Fifth, whereas the text Whereas the text of the retraction in the original and the in the original the Manila newspaper have only four commas. The text of Father Balgir copies has eleven commas. Sixth, the most important of all, Father Balgir's copy did not have the names of the witnesses from the text. The exact copy was shown to the military men guarding in Fort Santiago to convince them that Rizal has retracted. Someone read it aloud in the hearing of Cap Dominguez, who claimed in his notes that Rizal read aloud his retraction. However, the copy of retraction had differences from the original. Cap Dominguez, has, Cap Dominguez never claimed to have seen the retraction. He only heard. The retraction of Rizal in terms of types of publication is under the journal. A journal 
is something you record of daily occurrence or of or of your ideas or it might be a publication that deals with a certain field or sector. As a journal, it is considered as unpublished and written. Unpublished because the materials in print or digital from that has not been produced for mass distribution. Marketed or distributed to the general public, although this might be cited and share through informal networks. Hello everyone, I am Marfer Toledo and the question assigned to me is that does the retraction of result can be found in any repositories? Well, the answer is yes. The one who found it was Father Manuel E. Gracia at the Catholic Hierarchies Archive in Manila. The document only surfaced for public viewing on May 13, 1935. The original text was discovered in the Art UC Sun Archives on May 18, 1935. After it disappeared for 39 years from the afternoon of the day when Rizal was shot. In 1935, a controversial document was found and the letter dated December 29, 1896. It was signed by Dr. Jose Rizal, declaring that he was a Catholic and he wanted to take back everything he said against the church. However, Father P.U.P., a Spanish Jesuit, reported that as early as 1907, the retraction of Rizal was copied verbatim and published in Spain and reprinted in Manila and other Gracia who found the original document also copied it verbatim. And now, the question for number 8. Good day everyone, I am Nasa Jane E. Tavieras, and for today's discussion, I will going to compare and contrast the contradictory and retraction of Rizal. We have the two arguments about the retraction of Rizal. These two arguments are very questionable, especially to every Filipino now and then. There is one issue in Osiris Rizal life that historians have debated on several occasions, but remain unsettled. That issue is whether Rizal on the eve of his death re-embraced the Catholic faith and disassociation himself from Masonry. Others say that yes, Rizal retracted. This was done along with his profession of faith as a requirement to marry Josephine Bracken. So they say that Rizal retracted because the church would not allow his marriage to Josephine Bracken unless he retracted his Masonic affiliation. So the catch here is that if Rizal and Josephine Bracken are married, means Rizal retracted. But if not, Rizal didn't retract. So the question is, did Rizal and Josephine Bracken get married? So Father Balaguer testified he married Rizal and Josephine on December 30 at 6 o'clock in the morning. And after their marriage, Rizal dedicated the Catholic devotion book, which is the De La Imitacion de Cristo, to Josephine. Therefore, the letter of retraction, dated December 29, 1896, was said to have been signed by the national hero himself. But on the other hand, after Father Manuel Garcia found the original retraction document about Rizal in a bundle titled Masoneria in 1935, historians questioned the authenticity of the retraction document citing several, uh, several inconsistencies from Rizal writings and even ideals. The Masons regarded the retraction document that came out in 1935 as a fact, but whether it was indeed written and signed by Rizal was for them a big question. The discourse during this time was no longer over whether Rizal had retracted or not. The debate was whether the newly found retraction document was genuine or not. Nonetheless, contrary to what the Jesus expected, the documents did not eliminate the doubts about Rizal's retraction. Instead, it further put the pro-retraction advocates in a bad light because of the numerous doubts and objections it generated. So Dr. Ricardo R. Pascual, one of the persons who was given permission by the Archbishop to examine the documents, wrote, It is better that such documents should not have been discovered at all. Pascual scrutinized the documents thoroughly and came up with a book that questioned its authenticity. So first, he scrutinized its handwriting and compared it with other documents that Rizal had written days before he was executed. So Pascual identified inconsistencies in the slants of the handwriting, Rizal's signatures, the inks used, the font of the sum word, and the margin and the way individual letters were formed. Because of that, all of these observations lead him to conclude that newly found retraction documents was a forgery. 
So another objection raised against the authenticity of Rizal's retractions was the differences between the text on 1935 document and the versions of the retraction that Father Balagir had presented. So they say that in 1935 document, the, uh, the Kalidad is spelled with a U, while in the Father Balagir's uh, version, the spelling is Kalidad without the U. So second, Father Balagir version does not have the word Catholica after the word Iglesia. So in the 1935 and in the newspaper uh, this version, the word Catholica is present. So third, in the Jesus copy, the third Iglesia is preceded by the word Misma. So the misma word does not uh, cannot be found in the 1935 document. So fourth, with regard to the paragraphing, Father Balagir version does not begin the second paragraph until the fifth sentence, while the 1935 version starts the second paragraphs immediately after the second sentence. And finally, the text of 1935 retraction has four commas, while the text of Father Balagir has a left. Therefore, the anti-retractionists conclude that the retraction document found in 1935 is a forgery because of the differences. And also, their doubts about the retraction documents are diminished because of the of those uh, differences between the text of the 1930 documents and the version of uh, Father Balagir. Or to take a side between or among them, what will you choose and why? I am going to take that Rizal did not retract. Because just like what Masons did, they used the character of Rizal as their main argument against the retraction. They argued that Rizal was a strong-willed man of deep conviction and would not easily flip-flop even in critical times. So as a Filipino, if the reason why he retracted is to marry Josephine Rocken, for me, the reason was too superficial. I know that Rizal are not fool to retract his beliefs against the false love of Spaniards and Catholic Church to every Filipino during those times. I think if Rizal really signed the retraction, maybe the reason is choosing his own happiness at the last day of his life. But for me, Rizal has a stand and his happiness is to liberate the Philippines from the inhumane rule of Spanish government and Catholic Church. The first question is what makes this event important in our history as Philippines? Importance of the evidence, testimonies, and witnesses. We all know that a results retraction was a controversial issue, so some source of information may possibly had a some and factual information. And there are some people in that event in that time had witnessed it. And they created a lot of stories. They created a plot of stories in it. And there are some people or what we call historians recreated his retraction or results retraction. The second Results retraction issue will continue until enough evidence will put the issue to rest. As a Filipino, when we when we went to, into a court and filed a case against a against a man or against a someone, we have to to gather some real evidence to for us to be able to achieve our of what we are fighting for. Third, the fact that our lives did affect, didn't affect what Rizal did in his retraction for the sake of himself. Um, Riz, Rizal, uh, like us, is just a human. He can decide on his own. He can decide what he want, what he wanted to do until his last breath. The fourth one, whether Rizal had retracted or not, his works and sacrifices cannot be erased by this only one signature. And what Rizal even did that day will not erase by his greatness. What are the learnings that you can get from this event? The lifelong learnings that I got or learned from this event are First, goal-oriented thinking. Goal-oriented means being motivated by a clear vision, mission, goal, or aspiration. Just like Rizal who saw independence for fellow Filipinos as his ultimate goal. He weighed an unrelating struggle for political and social freedom. Second, keep personal matters separate from work. Setting boundaries to separate your work and personal life not only increases efficiency at work, but it also reduces stress in your personal life 
even while we do not currently live in such turbulent time as Rizal did, it not nonetheless vital to avoid distractions during everyday work. Third, utilize time wisely. Time is best used giving us certain benefits. Being freely given is the attribute of generosity. Giving something of yours to another person out of a sense of free will and obligation is referred to as generosity. Rizal gave his lifetime for the Filipinos and for the country Philippines. Finally, despite all odds, it is done in spite of several obstacles and what initially appears to impossibility. Against all odds, Rizal finished his writings and continued to fight through pen even his life was in danger. Choose one person, character, or place from event. So I choose Rizal as one of the characters that can be a good influencer and can be a great pattern in our generation today. Now, how will Rizal influence our young people and other citizens of our country? Well, if we read his life story, he was very brave and courageous even though he carried no arms. We don't need to kill people to revenge or to protect someone. Our simple action will create big contribution. We young ones must not be blinded unto reality. And knowing that he is courageous and brave, what can we get from his life is that in our situation today, whatever made the challenges comes in our life, go and find a way. How to resolve it and how to correct our wrongdoings. For it is not so late. Truly, he is a good example to us young people. He is matured enough to think bravely and every decision we take must be made wisely. Rizal was the hero who courted death to prove to those who deny our patriotism that we know how to die for our duty and our beliefs.